Uh, we had Miranda Otto coming back, but we also you also included uh, Christopher Lee, which I thought was lovely through archival yeah. recording. And kind of had to do that one, yeah. right? I was so happy. Uh, it was, you know, because he is he is there in the in the story. Yeah. You know, when you go into the timeline, you go, oh, he's actually part of this tale. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you also had um, Billy Boyd and Dominic Monaghan. Yes, we did. As orcs, which I yeah, that was me. That was me ringing them up and going, "Can you do me a favour?" <laughs> <laughs> Why was it important to have all of them back, and how did it feel like having them all? all oh, Miranda was amazing. It was. It gave me chills. Honestly, anyone who's a fan of the original performance, her original performance, can imagine how I felt when she stepped up to the mic, and then hearing her do it again was just like. And she, she just, she knows that character. It stayed with her. She knows it inside and out. She's a mother now, so we were ta we talked about how maybe this is Eowyn talking to her. Children, we talked about, she's telling a tale from her homeland. And we also talked about the fact that Eowyn is probably in Gondor and she might be a little homesick as she's telling this tale. So she's really, it, what that gave us, having that character that, that some of the audiences will be really familiar with, is it's a voiceover that's actually quite emotional. Uh, did you find it that way? Yeah. yeah, it's actually quite an emotional voiceover, which is unusual yeah. in a piece of, uh, voiceover, but it, we, you know, we kind of went, we went for it. She is, this is resonating with her because she was besieged mm -hmm. in that stone fortress herself. You know, so it's kind of cool. In terms of Billy and Dom, that was that was sh just just about. We knew that whoever did those voices, we wanted them to have an immediate kind of connection between the actors. We didn't, you know, like having having two actors who knew each other really well to do. Um, uh, rot and shank. Uh, I said they sound like a really bad, uh, uh, you know, an evil Middle Earth law firm, <laughs> Monsieur's Rot and Shank. <laughs> but they, you know, having the fact that they knew each other and could play off each other immediately like that uh, was why we actually picked up the phone and, and, and I threw myself on their mercy and they very nicely said yes.